I'm going to go up here to apps. I go to the web store. <clears throat> From here, you're going to want to type in clean flight. Just like that. You're going to want to install clean flight configurator. I already have it installed, but if not, it'll be this button here that says add to Chrome. It'll be up here. Um, so once you install it, hit apps again. Now you'll see it right here. It's the green one. Beta flight is the one that you're going to use if you have uh, better ESCs. But for now, we're just going to stick with clean flight on you with the HK um, ESCs. So we're going to open that. And now I'm going to switch cameras so I can show you the rest. Well, I can go ahead and show you here too. Um, go ahead and show you this part. So we'll do flash firmware. We're going to load the board. You have a CCD3. We're going to choose the firmware version. We're just going to get the latest one. Um, we're going to do no reboot. We're going to do full chip erase. Um, manual bot, I don't think that matters. We're going to load the firmware online because we're downloading it from Clean flight servers. Now this is going to be the part. I don't think I'm in bootloader mode. I'm going to go ahead and pop it in bootloader mode. Um, so this cord came with your CCD3s. Um, if you'll see on there, it's ground, positive, uh, transmitter, receiver, or transmit and receive lines. On the other end, it's the same pins, ground, positive, transmit, receive. But if you'll notice, the yellow is the last one on here. Come on, get focused. Um, the yellow is the third one on here, and the blue is the last, and so they swap. So transmitter from here goes to receiver from here. Uh, transmitter from here goes to receiver from here. So they just do a little flip-flop. Um, that's it. So I like to kind of get my USB started just a little bit, um, not all the way. So I kind of hold that in one hand. So if you look really close on there, these pins right here, these two pins where it says 3.3 volts and SBL, uh, we got to short those out before we apply power to the board. These are called bootloader pins. That gets it into the bootloader mode. Um, open. So I'll. I'll explain. Never mind. I won't. I'll just confuse you. So anyway, we we short those out. Apply power to the board, and it did not work because I'm getting a blue flashing light. That's regular startup mode. So obviously, I didn't get a good connection here. Um, um, bootloader mode will be a solid green light no blue flashing light so okay third time's a charm I got a good connection plug it in USB solid green light no blue light that means we're in bootloader mode now we can let go flash firmware Okay, we're flashed, so we're just going to hit connect. Uh, we're connected. Yeah, good quick gyro. All right, so we're going to set up some ports here. Um, we're going to leave these just like they are because um, you're not going to use any of that stuff. So, configuration quad X. Um, I like to leave this. I like to leave my motors running, so I leave that unchecked. Um, leave this all about the same. For now, we may come back and change it later, but for now, this is all going to be. Uh, let's go ahead and hook this at 2,000. I don't know why that's the default 1850. 
I like 2000. Uh, min throttle 1150, we'll leave that for now. Uh, leave all of that off. We don't even need black. Mm, I think this has a chip in it. This has a data chip in it. Uh, so we'll use black box. We may can use that for tuning later. Um, so there's a box down for it. Hit save. So on a clean flight, you want to hit. Let me get this guy out of there. You want to hit save and reboot um, every time, every, between every page. Doesn't take but a second to reboot. So we were in configuration. Oh, um, so one thing we do need to check when you install the CCD3, if you install it any way other than the arrow pointing forward, um, you can use these to change that. So if you, have, if you for some reason, maybe on a different quad, need your USB coming out of the side, so you need to rotate the board. Um, so you need to rotate the board like that. So that's going to be on the yaw axis 90 degrees. So you would just put 90 in there. Um, as long as the arrow is pointing straight forward, you don't have to mess with any of that. Because here, you'll see it here. If that's, let me set this. When I pull back on the board, it goes up, left right y'all so if I mounted the board like this when you it would be wrong so that's what you would be correct in there um, probably more than you needed to know right now sorry uh, fail save I just like to let them drop um, you know if it gets out of hand and you have a fail safe it's better just let it crash than it is to go continue off into the wild blue yonder and you never see it again so save and reboot there uh, hit tuning we're going to leave that stock for now um, receiver so this is where we need to check and see if you um, see if your roll pitch yaw and throttle are where they're supposed to be at this is normally uh, for my setup I usually just hit this junior and that puts me T-A-E-R, I don't have my transmitter with me right now or I check it, but uh, yeah. Uh, dead band, go ahead and set both of those to 10. That's gonna... Um, rates are probably okay for now. Save that. Modes, so we're not gonna have a switch because we don't have, um, you only have four channels, but if you do want to stay in angle mode, we're just going to go ahead and stretch both of those out. Now we're full-time angle mode. So horizon mode is just like angle mode. It just lets you go a little bit further than 45 degrees. I think angle mode limits you to 45 degrees. Horizon lets you get a little crazier with it but still brings you back to level when you let off the sticks adjustments we're going to leave all those the same this is for doing in-flight tuning we're not going to mess with pretty much anything left here they've changed the configurator since i've used clean flight a little bit and it's a little different than beta flight but it's still all pretty simple pretty straightforward we're not going to mess with any of this um so here's where you would um, calibrate your motors so you would, with the battery disconnected, you'd run that all the way up, connect the battery, hit end, you're done. Um, simple as that. So we're not going to use transponders, we're not going to do LEDs, we're not going to do sensors, we're not going to do that. We might do black box data logging though. Um, probably don't have a whole lot of information on there, but I can show you what this does later. That's going to be on another program that you'll use later and you'll actually get to see what the gyros are doing as you're operating it. So that's that. Um, hope you guys get it squared away. Maybe I can come out Friday. I'm not sure if I can come out this Friday or not.
We'll see.